So in the previous video, we were able to find the first partial derivative of j with respect to theta. What we're going to do in this one is try to find partial square j over partial theta transpose partial theta. Why? Because this is also called the Hessian matrix of j. And using this, we can prove that j is a convex function. If the Hessian matrix is positive semi-definite, which means that for any vector z, the product is z transpose h z is always greater than or equal to zero, then j is convex. And being convex means that it's either going to have one global minimum or have more than one all lying at the same level. Okay, so here partial squared j over partial theta transpose partial theta is basically partial over partial theta transpose of partial j over partial theta. So our first step is going to be to simplify this, which is partial j over partial theta, and then take the partial derivative with respect to theta transpose. Okay, so let me first introduce this transpose. So these are going to be theta transpose, x transpose, and this is going to be y transpose. And then let me introduce the negative x. This means that we're going to have partial j over partial theta is equal to 2 multiplied by negative y x plus theta transpose x transpose x. And what we're going to do now is take the partial derivative of this whole thing with respect to theta transpose. Okay, so um, I have to also put it here somehow. Let me try just to take the half here and then write down partial over partial theta transpose. So this is going to give us zero, okay, a zero matrix because none of these is a function in theta and this is a constant so we can take that out and then have partial theta transpose with respect to partial theta transpose, which is just an identity matrix. So this whole thing ends up with 2 multiplied by x transpose x. Now in order to prove that this is semi-definite, we have to multiply by z transpose from the left and z from the right and prove that this product is positive or equal to 0 no matter what. So let me write down here, let me take the two on the side, then write down z transpose, x transpose, x, z. And then let me make this into x, z transpose multiplied by x, z. And then let's recognize that this is a vector. You have a matrix multiplied by a vector, which is going to give you a vector. And having that transpose, remember in the last video when we did Q transpose Q, um, giving us a magnitude of Q squared. So this is going to give us 2 multiplied by um, xz as a magnitude squared, which means it's always going to be either 0 or positive because of the square right here, which says that this is a convex function. Now the question here is, when is it going to have one minimum and when is it going to have more than one? They're always going to be at the same level if they're more than one, but when would this ever happen? So you know that a straight line passes by two points, a plane is defined by three points, and then a hyperplane in, the in four dimensions is going to be defined by four points, and so on. So let's say you try to fit a plane with 12 features. So you have 12 features, which means you're living in the 12th dimension, and you only have 10 points. If you have only 10 points, then you can get infinite planes passing by these 10 points, similarly to how you can get 
um, infinite straight lines passing by one point or infinite planes passing by two points. So um, in this case, you're going to get infinite solutions all leading to zero error. Since this plane is defined by 12 points, by giving it 10 points, it's going to pass by all of them. And then you're going to like try to find two more random points to make it defined. And at this point, all of them lie on the plane. So you have zero regression error. And you can just call what you just did interpolation. Otherwise, if the number of um, examples is larger than the number of non redundant features, then you're always going to get a unique solution that is also your global minimum. Now, this is all I wanted to say in this video, so thank you for watching.